हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम बैक टू चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू सीरीज ऑफ जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डन सम इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क दैट इज व्हाट इज एपीआई व्हाट इज रेस्ट एपीआई एंड व्हाट इज जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क एंड व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न दी जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क दैट इज व्हाट इज सीरियलाइजर एंड व्हाट इज डी सीरियलाइजर and how does this serialization perform this two action of serialization and deserialization we learn this in a theory in a much animated way so that you understand it very deeply so you don't have to go to any video to understand what is serializer ever again and we are also going to write a code so that, so that you understand how does this practically work okay so before moving to what is serializer it, it would be great if you could subscribe to our channel so that it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you So let's go and understand what is serializer. Serializer allow complex data types such as query set and model instance to be converted into the native Python data type that can be easily rendered into JSON, XML, or other content type. What does this mean? Let's imagine and understand. Imagine like now you are querying uh, one uh, instance from the um, database. Okay, so it could be some um, query set. It could be model instance. Okay, so now you got the model instance, but you can't send that model instance to the other application or the front end people because they won't they won't understand what this does in the instance means. So we need one uh, intermediate in which between which will convert this instance into the Python data type. So serializer comes and play a major role over here. It convert the complex data type into the Python data type into query set model instance into the dictionary. Okay, so now once we got the dictionary, we'll pass the dictionary and we'll render the dictionary into JSON format and pass to the other application or the uh, front end people. Okay, so now that you got a fair bit of idea, let's understand this with the example, actual example. Okay, so let's say for example you have a student table. It has the three column ID, name, and role. Okay, and we have made a three entries over here. So let's take one of the entry. Okay, so how will we take one of the entry? In Django, we write. In Django, we make use of ORM and you um and write student dot objects dot get and whichever entry you want. Let's say ID equal to one, okay. And we store in a student underscore object variable, okay. And now we make use serializer and convert this model object into the dictionary format, okay. So we made one student serializer and pass the model object inside that and converted that uh, into the um, serializer format. How to make this student serializer and everything we'll see in the later part in the coding part. For now, understand that we made one student serializer and pass the model object inside that. Okay, yeah. So now we need to render this thing into the JSON format so that the front uh, front end or other um, application will understand this. So we'll make use of one of the um, function JSON response which will convert this dictionary into JSON format and pass to the front end or other, other kind of people. Okay, so now that you understand what is serializer, now we'll understand what is deserializer. Serialization also provide deserialization. Okay, so now, so now what we did, we pass the data from our application to other application or front end people. There could be another way also. We could get the data from the front end people or the other application also. So for that, serializer also provide the um, functionality of deserialization, allowing to get the parsed data and convert back into the complex type and uh, and validating it and storing in a database. Okay. So now let's say for example we get the data um, as this uh, JSON format name and role number. Okay. Now we'll use pass this data into the serializer class, the same serializer class student serializer. Okay. And get the student uh, serializer variable. So student serializer will take care of everything. It will take this um, JSON format and store it in, into the database and make our developer work very easier. Okay. So now that you got a fair bit of understanding like what is serializer and what is deserializer, let's understand this into in the coding perspective so that you have a better understanding of this. So let's get back to the Visual Studio and understand what how does this thing work. So now we are back to our um, best ID Visual Studio. So uh, if you have followed me to the last video, you could have seen that we have made a one dummy dictionary over here and we pass the dummy dictionary to our data um, to the front end people. 
but why but now we need to make the serializer and from the serializer we need to create the dictionary and we'll uh, pass the dictionary to the front end people okay so before doing that all thing um if you have followed me the last video um go in the settings.py file in the install application write drf underscore app which is our application name over here as you can see it's the application name so that our project would come to know that um this application is installed okay so now before going to serializer we need to create one of the model okay which will um create the complex data type which we can pass to the serializer part over here okay so now we'll go into the models.py file and we'll create one of the model. Okay. We'll create the student model, which will have the three field over here. ID field, name field, and role field, which you saw in a theory video. Okay. ID is a primary key. Name is a character field and role is the character field over here. Okay. So now we need to create this realizer.py file in the DRF underscore app. Okay. Once you create the serializer.py file, go into the serializer.py file and um, make the student serializer uh, student serializer uh, over here, which will use the serializer or serializer, which will get from the rest underscore framework. Okay, and we'll write the all the same field as you can see in our models.py file. We created the three field over here. We'll create the same three field over here, which will be ID, name, and role. Instead of model, instead of using the model uh, uh, class over here, we'll be using serializer class over here. Okay, and now since first we created the serializer uh, uh, fields over here, so but we need to tell the serializer from which model we need to use this field. So in the class meta, we'll use the model equal student and we'll write fields equal to all. This will tell we are using the all the field from the serializer part over here. These are the very minimal minimum setting that we have used in the serializer part. There are many more settings that we will be learning in the future video. So if you don't want to miss that all thing, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of the future videos. Okay. So now since we have defined everything, so we'll go to our terminal and we'll write Python minus your py shell. Okay. So now this is the interactive shell, which give us the ability to write the um, Python Django code over here. Okay. So first we'll import the models in serializer. So from DRF underscore app dot models, um, import, um, uh, import, sorry, student. And we'll also import the student serializer, but not from model, from Serial, uh, serializer. Okay, so now we have import the student and student serializer. So first we need to create the complex data type, which is model. So let's create student dot objects dot create, and we'll give name equal to tech tsunami and role equal to let's say hundred. Okay, so now we have created one of the student model with ID four. So we need to capture in two um underscore obj equal to how we'll capture we'll write student and dot objects dot get and we'll pass the id which got created recently which is four okay so now we need to pass this uh, object into the serializer um part okay so how we'll part so student serializer which we already made we'll pass this two underscore object so we need to capture this in one of the variable as two underscore cd Okay, so now we need to see that how does this convert into the serializer. So we'll write two underscore cd dot data. Boom. As you can see over here, that it got converted into the um, dictionary over here. But as you can see, there is a comma over here. So it means it's in the string format, byte format. So we'll see that how will how can we convert that into the dictionary and pass to the front end people in a future video. So please stick to the channel so that you could get the deep understanding. Okay, so if you want to see the structure over here of this serializer, we'll write two underscore num cd, which will give us the structure. It will it is telling that it is a serializer of uh, ID four. And these all are the fields that we are using. Okay, so I hope that it, that you like the um, way that we teach over here. So you got the fair bit of idea, like how does the serializer work? So there are the many configuration, many type of serializer that we'll be learning in the um, future. We'll understand that in the um, deep. Okay, so stick to the channel. If you like the video, please press the like button. And if you comment down the doubt that you have, comment out the query that you have in the um, comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Till then, take care.